Good day, students! Welcome again to our virtual class. Today, we are going to discuss about online safety and security. To start our discussion, here is our lesson objective. To consider one's and others' safety when sharing information using the internet. We all know that the internet is a powerful tool. It can be used to promote your business if you have one, gain new friends, and stay in touch with the old ones. It is also a source of entertainment through games, online communities, and everything in between. However, just like most things in the world, there is always the other side of the coin. The internet is one of the most dangerous places, especially if you do not know what you are doing in it. Nevertheless, there is no need to worry. It is never that late. I hope that by the end of this lesson, you are able to consider how you go about your use of the internet. Now, first things first, let us define what is internet. Well, internet is also known as the information superhighway. From the word superhighway, it means that anyone has access to it, meaning anyone can place information and can grab information. So any information, even things that you set privately, can be accessed one way or another. This is why the threat of cybercrime is very real. Though you may not experience the threat now, just remember that whatever information you share today could affect your future. Now, let us visit some types of information and see how risky it is to share them online. First is our first name. There is actually a risk in sharing your first name. Chances are, a hacker may already know plenty of stuff about you, even if you only give out your first name. Likewise, you cannot just walk in a room and start introducing yourself to everyone. You do not know whom you can come across with. Second is our last name. If sharing your first name is a small risk, having both your first and last is more risky. You will be vulnerable to being searched using search engines, which include image search. Matching a name with a face is a modus to several cyber crimes like identity theft. Number three, sharing your middle name alone is probably not the most risky of this shared information, but sharing your full name would be. Number four, Current and previous school Most people who steal identities study their subject. They can use this information for verification purposes. For example, some social networking sites request verification questions to be answered. One of these questions is either your previous or your current school. Number 5. Your cell phone number your cell phone number should never be posted over the internet. The internet is a public place. It is the same as posting your number on a billboard. You would not want random strangers to text or call you, or worse, pretend that they are someone else. Now, posting your cell phone for work and business purposes is a different story. However, I suggest that you make sure to have a separate number for your business or work from your personal number. Now number 6 is the name of your mother and father. Risky yet not as risky as posting their full names, especially your mother's maiden name. In fact, 
you may have already encountered many websites that require your mother's maiden name as an answer to a secret question whenever you lose your password. Now, number seven is the name of your siblings. Disclosing this is actually a huge risk. Strangers may pretend or use their identity to dupe you. So again, make sure not to disclose the name of your siblings. Number eight is your address. Hopefully, you have not shared your address on the internet. Because giving the internet your number is one thing. But then giving your address is a whole other level because actually it would be much easier for criminals to find you this is why celebrities and influencers do not share their address online number nine your home phone number this shared information is more risky than sharing your personal phone number scams usually use this information to deceive you one of which is when a stranger pretends to know your parents or pretends to be you lastly your birthday letting people know about your birthday is probably a must if you want to get as many gifts as possible or if you want to be greeted by many people however having it in your profile makes you vulnerable to identity theft And so that's all for online safety and security. I hope you learned something of today's lesson. Just take note and remember, technology is a grace, but when used irresponsibly, becomes a disgrace. And by the way, if you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to leave a like and comment and also make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I publish my latest video.